Right, what's this? Uh, 80 TV down. Is this Mercy Flush? Could be, couldn't it? No, it's not. It's some dude who has a strength mighty blow guy. That's pretty good. Uh, lots of dodge. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't have any tackle. This is going to be probably pretty tough. Uh, five, two, three. I haven't got a great record. I can't buy a wizard. I guess I'll just get a babe. Yeah, Volkos, yeah, that's a... Oh, the standing one, there's one where there's one where there's lifting him up like a little child. That That's that's even better, but... Um, yeah, yeah, that, that's the one, yeah, Jam Tales did it. The one where they're just picking him up. Like, what even is that? <laughs> Holy shit. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Arnold. Rhea Williams. Don't even know who Rhea Williams is. Tell you what though, fucking what's he called? Uh, I don't know if uh, I think he'll ever be broken, will he? Uh, what's he called? Uh, what's he called? Well, it probably will be broken, but uh, the beast. Eddie Hall. It'll be a long while for that to get broken, won't it? There is running and jumping, etc. in CrossFit, yeah, Stroud DK, but they do like, they do kip, kip ups that, you know, like they do kipping, they do kipping pull ups and just stuff like, and just ridiculous dumb stuff. It's like, it, you know, all exercise is better than none, isn't it? So, like, it's good to an extent, but it's just needlessly risky isn't it that's the problem just needlessly risky you might as well just fucking play tennis or something <laughs> i guess then do crossfit doesn't seem that i don't i don't want to be some crossfit dude um <laughs> no that point two kg it's funny though because obviously they're at their their absolute limit so while it while it doesn't seem a lot of difference between lifting four seven seven point five and four eighty it's still they're going beyond their two point five beyond the limit, aren't they? So it's it's still ridiculous. Hi, have fun. You too. Should have said hi, play fast, shouldn't I? No, I should, I'll stop going on about that. It was funny though. Um, yeah, I guess I'll get rid of a wrestler and just have more guard. Because he, you know, he's got he hasn't got mighty boy, he hasn't got tackle. He's got block. Oh, this guy doesn't matter much, does he? Oops, I want to go around. I'm 2D in with, with thing, but he can't really hit them so easily. Can he? Hello, Jellio. Extent of my German there. Hello. Hello. <laughs> 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 I have seen Bro Sciences cross the video, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. And and they, they do them poorly on purpose, Ducky, don't they? That's the thing. Like CrossFit is just I don't know what it is. It's good at being <laughs> the chess boxing. Do you reckon Pedro? Do you reckon? Oh, I don't know. Like. Is he is he a good coach, Sarah Mall? Hmm. Interesting. I forgot to advertise this on all on all the various places. Actually, let me let me just advertise this on all the various places. That seems like a good idea, doesn't it? Pew. Pew. Um. Yeah. Pew. And. Oh. Oh. Ducky, no fouling for me. Shit. 
<laughs> um, yeah, I, I can't up or rat, line rat, can I? Even if it is ducky. There goes any chance I had of fouling. Sharder, no ducky fouls. The spiciest soup in the universe. Not as spicy as the uh, the pass ride yesterday, probably. I mean, maybe, maybe it is, but um. Oh god, that, that was that was outrageous. That was outrageous. That was. And I had this. I've had this thing before as well. It's some thing. It was like the hottest burrito ever. Is was is what it was advertised as, and it had nothing on Senai's random pasta. <laughs> yeah, it was. Oh my god, it's crazy. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. I can't guarantee happiness nor I'll come, but I can I can guarantee po being positive. Try to guarantee being positive. It's not a real guarantee. But um I was looking at a lot of surprisingly constructive criticism and uh and basically the overwhelming thing was I'm a whiny cunt. Um so I'm doing gonna do my damnedest to not be a whiny cunt. Um basically. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna write it on the sheet. Um <laughs> Um Yeah. I've been around for years. Hmm. He hasn't got such a good record in this team, but then it is starting Delphs. So it's you know they don't they never start they never start that well do they does you can't read too much into a to a poor record at this stage. Oh, is it barbecue stuff? So, yeah. I think it was probably already had four. He got the extra reroll anyway, so I guess it was definitely right to reroll the pickup against rats. Anything could happen, couldn't it? I could just roll some dice and and uh, get the ball off him. Good balls, Mr. Positive. Yeah, it wasn't actually the not being nice was the was the, the that wasn't really the thing. The thing was being so unbelievably negative. So, um, oh man, let's do it. Let's just fucking go for the. Oh no, you can just counter surf for the uh, which. Hmm. Probably not worth it, is it? One, two, three, four, five, six. GFI. GFI. I mean, it's two GFIs with a loner. To, uh. Yeah. Alright, so I just want to do this blitz. I guess I just want to, uh. Put a little bit of stuff in the way. One, two, three, four. He can come back and, uh. Like. Fill out the screen after the roger has done his dirty work, which is rolling the one. Now he can't reach, which sucks a little bit. Maybe I should have. Ah, no, no, I think it's kind of alright. <laughs> Fair enough, barbecue stuff. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Kogo. Yeah, exactly. Check the paper. Oh, brutal, <laughs> Dante Kellys. Yeah, that, the 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 the, the, uh, the sheet is surprisingly good in that situation. Yeah, so you can spam when I tilt. I don't tilt. Though. I really don't tilt, and I'm going to prove it by just choosing to act differently, and then you won't think I'm tilting because you know that's it. Everyone's a, a, a thing that a lot of people said that I give up too quickly, um, which actually isn't really true. It isn't true at all. I don't give up quickly. Obviously, sometimes I've conceded because I have given up because because the team's dead. You know, like with an early, an early loss, like game one loss or uh, or whatever. But um, yeah, I really don't. I really don't uh, give up. I just obviously realise when I'm in a 
horrible position and think I'm probably going to use. And I say all the neg, I vocalize the negative thoughts and don't vocalize the positive ones. I just think maybe I can do something here, but I say, oh, I'm fucked, you know? And then, so I'm not actually giving up or anything. It just sounds like I am because I'm saying I'm fucked here. But I'm thinking if I get lucky, something can happen. If he rolls a one here, you know, whatever. So. Right. To blitz her, but it's not great, is it? I mean, him getting stuck on a on a bludger is pretty pretty shit. He can block there. Could just blitz him. Don't want to dodge away. Don't want to hit a bludger. I'd rather hit. Him. I don't want to hit a dodge guy either. Though, do I? All right, let's go for let's go for hitting him first. Two players over here. And two dice him. And then a player. Ah, I'd be a gutter though. Well, minus two? Oh no, I'm th I thought I was glad. I thought it was glad. <laughs> For no apparent reason, I thought that was glad. I don't want to stand up to get mighty blow. Put these far away so they don't get hit. Also, it was the not vocalizing what I was thinking of, um, which I used to. Obviously, when I started, I used to uh, I used to vocalize everything, and then I would I would always think that you know these people who streamed a lot and had all the viewers. I was like, oh god, they don't they don't say what they're thinking at all. They don't like you know they don't they don't talk anything through at all. But obviously, what happened to me was uh, um, the same kind of thing, and it just all descended into memory, and uh, I guess that's what happens generally. I need to protect her from getting surfed now, which I don't, I don't want to fail a dodge. But then I don't want to leave the gutters exposed. I guess I'll fit, make both these dodges. Can I play you, please? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was. Oh, wow. He double scores. Yeah, honestly, I literally just thought it was Glad because I just, why would I have a claw guy? <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. Yes, fair enough, Pedro. <laughs> oh, man. I'm got, I've got a loop pack. Blue pack cam going on today. Oh, that's because it's heavily creased. Could you give that a little bit of a tweak? <laughs> I'm talking about the green screen. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Really? Yeah, that's better. <laughs> oh. I'm trying not to die. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough, Gary. <Gurian. laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Especially when I thought it was cut. <laughs> yes, Rogue Blister Strength 4, absolutely now, yes, 100%. Well, he, he might protect him, though. In, in fact, he probably will. He has been quite protectful of his. Uh, of his Strength 4 guy. So I imagine he will screen him. Protectful. <laughs> Is that even a word? 3 plus, 3 plus, 2 plus, 4 plus. I could go this way. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, uphill. I mean, uphill is grey here because it gets forces in the score. He's not actually protecting him, is he? He actually failed to protect his mighty blow guy. Protectful. <laughs> right. So, can two dice in, which frees up the roger to hit the strength four, which is obviously what I want to do the most in the world. Um, so he can stand up. He can stand up. And... Come in, not very 
threatening. This is the big one, isn't it? What do I do about him? Do I 2D him with gutters again? I guess I could do. Base, base, base. This won't fail. They're I'm actually <laughs> They're actually uh, dangerous enough, just all just hanging out here, aren't they? Is is scary enough for him. Which is the stupid thing about Skaven really. I've got to be a little bit scared of getting surfed, but only a little bit. If he surfs, then he's going to find it hard to protect the ball, isn't he? So, let's -a go. Oh, baby. He made the blitz. He got the pow. Fucking die. Good enough. Good enough. Um, yeah, I guess a block here. This is a bit dodgy, isn't it? I don't want to get hit by frenzy. Into other people and everything as well, but then I don't want to, you know, just dodge out and keep dodging to get to here. That obviously protects him. But no, I think just stay just stay there, fuck it, why not, eh? He's pretty much got to score this turn, I think. Well, maybe he's just doing that to score this turn, but Yeah, Jelly will yeah, exactly. How do you stall a drive when you turn three or down there? It's it's hard for him, isn't it? <laughs> no, I haven't barbecued, so no, I haven't. <laughs> yeah, two gargoyles, but no block on them, so they're uh, they're not so great at the moment. Hello, Palestine. The rats are four and zero. They're not doing bad. Yeah, he just he's getting getting to make punches, but I don't think he's going to get this ball safe easily. Eh, maybe he's going to get it safe, but oh shit. Maybe I should have made the dodge. Does mean she's based by the rogue though. So by just making the block there, he's uh he's in a he's in a tricky spot to saw it now, isn't he? I think mean, he's in quite a tricky spot. Second skill is fire rock lord, yeah. Hundred percent. For fuck's everybody. sake, Tony! Stop <laughs> being shit! But yeah, he's, I get, I get, he's just going to power people and score here, I think. Because now he's just definitely not protecting the ball, is he? There's no way he's protecting the ball now. Couldn't resist the roger. Wow! Greed's it! Greed's a safe block. Greedy. Greedy dingo. For putting him to one reroll, I think that was excessively greedy. Uh, just my opinion, of course. I'm not calling him. I'm not insulting the coach. I'm just saying that was a that was a spicy reroll indeed. I think if I had two rerolls, I wouldn't be greeding a, a block that wasn't a turnover before my completely exposed ball carrier. Um, I think maybe that was, maybe that was, oh wow, he got fucked by heat. Oh, I got a bit fucked. Oh shit, yeah, I got fucked too. <laughs> oh well, he, he, I guess he got fucked worse. So, that's something. Four, eight, nine, and he's got eight. Yeah, two. Two, two out and three out, but um, he made a cars. So. <laughs> no, I don't want I don't want my uh, my chat to be insulting either or anything as well. You know, let's try and be nice. Yeah. <laughs> you don't go PC on this. 
Mr. Nice Stuff Only. <laughs> wow. Well, now... Oh, no, I don't have the fucking Roger, do I? But um, I could. Still surfing? They've got a runner. But then I've got to worry about the Witch Elf. Hmm. So I could come in from there, couldn't I? Push him to there. Knock him down. Gut runner rolls all the way around. Surf him. And then... But then it's how to protect against the counter surf, so I guess I just ignore it. I guess I just ignore it. Carry the ball on the 13 star player point guy? I guess. He does have a, a lot of dodge though, like it's a... It's a bit... Fucked, isn't it, how much dodge he's got. He's got so much dodge, it's, it's really outrageous. It's a bit dodgy. Fishing for powers, I don't know. I mean, undoubtedly he came off worse off the heat, but um, it's still, it's still tough. I mean, I guess I just score in five. I guess I should try to stall it out, shouldn't I? He could imprint Augustus, but not against Elves, and not in a game where I'm 1 0 behind. Okay. <laughs> um, it, was, it was to the player, though. It wasn't to the actual human, so not really an insult, no. I would say that's not considered an insult at all. Oh, God. <laughs> I just realised. No, I can't get served. This is uh, pretty rough, actually, isn't it? Got dodge. Like all I can do is stay out of range, I guess, for the ball. Maybe I should protect. Maybe I should pick it up with a guard guy, just so the guard guy isn't blitzed with block. That's what I'm thinking. Count the squares first. One, two, three, four, five, six. I guess I've got to re-roll it. Fuck sake. Nice that I only had 15 seconds though. Thanks, Cyanide. Uh, I guess it was too dangerous, wasn't it? With uh, with having few players. And that was disappointing. That's true, Tony, you did do that, 100%. I go there and then there's a screen behind these guys. Should have thought about that before I picked it up, but I just thought I probably won't roll a 1. Like, this is the problem with Cyanide's game, isn't it? Because I, what I want to do is obviously just go for the pickup, then if I roll a 1, think for 2 minutes about re-rolling it, because I've got a 3 minute turn. But your option is literally think about it 2 minutes, bef bef you know, so 6 times. So you've got to think 12 minutes before doing it because you've got to think every single time. The optimal way to play is to think 12 minutes before, two minutes before making each two plus pick up. Wow, insta re-roll down and on. And it's just, it's just so bad. It's just literally so bad that that's what you have to do every time. Or you think, you know, you rely on the 15 seconds. So that's such bad. And people defended it in the forums. In the forums, people fully defended the way it works with this 15 second chunk and it's so bad it's so bad it's unbelievable it should obviously go and i'm not being whiny or negative here it should just obviously go into your turn limit after the 15 seconds shouldn't it for things like using a reroll like a crucial game deciding 
You don't have to, bite sized. Now, are, 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 are you agreeing with him or are you pointing out how stupid their argument was? <laughs> Before I argue with you. <laughs> um, yeah, and cyanide, yeah. yeah. And, but th these people actually, uh, thanks for the host there, Tomo, by the way. Uh, Tomo5000, thank you. Um, yeah. They actually argue that oh you sh you have to know whether you're going to reroll the hydrogen before you take it anyway so it's not it's not even a it's not even a thing and it's like yes it is a thing because I shouldn't have to think for two minutes before making the obvious pickup should I I just based everyone which is which is the right thing to do isn't it and is he in range to hit the ball he's in range to pin me uh, no he can only base no he can only base so I can go one. One back and he can only base me. Yeah. Yeah, I think the 15 seconds is good, obviously, in your opponent's turn, because you've got to have a timer for your opponent's turn, haven't you? Right, got to remember this isn't glad. Can two dice this lad. Can't get an assist over here, so probably just two dicing this lad and getting an assist in there is the best, isn't it? Also means I can run away from the witch, which uh, which witch can't be bad. He gets a block in. Maybe I should have gone over this side. I should have maybe thought about where I was going to blitz first, then moved over here. I guess he can make a safe move, can't he? And then he can make a safe-ish move. I'm not going to re-roll this block, so I guess the safe move is to make the dodge first. Oh, he's a movement six one. I'll never remember that. <laughs> uh <-huh>. <laughs> I'll pretend it was a one in nine and not a double score. Yeah. Yeah, exactly barbecue, so yeah, yeah. So yeah. oh he didn't have block. Maybe he's maybe he should have conserved his rerolls. I mean, obviously he was unlucky to fail that, but had he conserved his rerolls, maybe he'd have been in a better spot, wouldn't he? Do I go for a handoff here? Could block there. Could block there. Could blitz here. The handoff could put into a nice uh, a nice cage up here, couldn't it? I mean, I'd have to commit to using the reroll on the handoff. I guess the moment I'm doing is I make the blocks, and if I don't need a reroll on the blocks, then uh, then I can go for that. I like blitzing this guy to get him down. And freeing up a man here is better than making an additional block. So, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four. Hmm. He could go there, and then he could come around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He doesn't. He's not seven though. Fucking bastard. <laughs> Four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I don't like that because he doesn't do a lot of heat blitzes. And push here is really bad if I blitz from that angle. One, two, three, four, five, six. Works. Yeah. That works. So I was actually going for an extra square that I didn't need anyway. Guess I don't move him yet because I can do the handoff first. I've really got to re-roll this, haven't I, I think. I think I have to. 
I guess I'll keep his, his guy occupied. Um, if it works. Could go here, couldn't I, to make it? The surf would be on, but she's not in range to surf. So. Maybe here. Oh, because the push I've got to make a dodge now. Lucky Dingo. And obviously. Well, not obviously, he's got no rerolls, so making him roll dice, but it's just a 2 plus with a. It's a 2 plus with dodge. But then it's a 2 dice block if I don't block. Because I could dodge for more payoff than a 1 dice block. Six older powder. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Shit. Hello, Haramaya. Um, how's it going? It's it's going okay. Ah, yes, push would have put her in range of surf as well. Yeah, that's that's a good point. Um, it's going well because of the heat. Screwed him this half. Um, I, it screwed me a bit, but him him worse. I lost a guard. Got her in a roger. Whereas he lost his strength for mighty bow guy. And a couple of linos. But, um... Yeah, apart from the heat, it's going pretty well. Pretty well, obviously. I've... Hmm... Positivity guaranteed. I'm trying. Obviously, it's not. It's a gym guarantee rather than an actual real guarantee. Arrested development. <laughs> it's not an actual real guarantee, but it's a gym guarantee. I'm re I'm really trying. Uh, I was the. Oh, you're lucky, Haromaya. It's uh... <laughs> without being negative. It's a. It's a quite unfun rule a lot of the time. Skaven are ridiculous, yeah, completely. And it could have gone way, way further than that as well. He only went one, two, three, four, five, six. Could have been, could have been here if I'd wanted. Hey, oh no, he's got dodge an option for some reason. I can block him and then blitz. Oh, I don't even need to. He rolled a one. So I can two dice block here to get to free him up to two dice blitz there and have three players to make it kind of safe. Um, could just go for the score on two plus. And then he's only got one turn, he's unlikely to score. Um, early stops are a mixed blessing, but strength is just a blessing because he's already got block. Ah. Uh, um, he's unlikely to score one turn, isn't he? Scoring early would guarantee... Would mean that I might be down a roger and he might be down a thing. He's got three guys coming back for sure. I've got two guys coming back for sure at the moment. It would give me more weather rolls to not get screwed by heat. More chance of a weather result to not get screwed by heat. Um, it would level the gutter scoring this turn for sure. I don't want to have to use a reroll on the block and then not be able to reroll on the GFI. So if it's a pow, let's assume we have a push. He blitzes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He goes three there. The gutter goes out here. It's really not safe, is it? It's really not safe. So I think I just score. Um, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking I go for the just score. Um, and obviously, the safer place is just hand off rather than make a GFI. Because he can't, he can't one turn. I mean, he can, but <laughs> even if he does, I get the chance to one turn back. If it's a right, I get the chance to one turn back. 
and uh, he was benefiting from the from the heat there for the second half. It does mean that I give up the next round of LOS. Oh, but it's worked out great for me with three going out. Um, it does give him the extra round of LOS hits, which was a bit shit, but um, but that's great that I don't have to roll for three this time. Obviously now we'll probably get uh, probably get changing weather, but um, still, right, don't put them, there's no reason to ever put them together on the LOS, worst thing you can do. Um, that's great that these don't need to roll for the second half now. I guess I could have done a Reconator. Yes, I should have done that. I should have done that. Uh, that was in my head. Um, to block with a Claws Vermin if the handoff succeeded. I should have done that. Yes, I should have done that. Jim Poz. <laughs> yeah, Hellboy. <laughs> the power of positivity. Um, yes, as a, exactly as a Dr. Keller says, um, uh, you're quite new, aren't you, Haramaya? But what you can do is you can uh, you can like do chain pushes to get the witch elf and everything into my half, um, and then score. You could, you could chain it to here and then score with it, but and ha by having them closer together, it's uh, it's a lot easier. Yeah. So, um, yeah, a lot easier if you have them together. So you should never have them together on the last turn of a half like this. Because it, it, it makes it, like uh, somebody did it in me yesterday, although I failed the one-turner because I rolled bad dice. Um, it was incredibly easy with, with, with only three uh, with only, with three people next to it. I, I, it failed the, initial, failed the initial blitz. And I still had two more chances to get to get the push forward. It was it was ridiculous. It was completely ridiculous. The, the odds went up hugely because he put his three guys together. So you have only got to roll for all now gutters in there. Only three gutters have got to roll, I think. Yeah, three gutters have to roll and the roll. Will. But still, I'm in a better spot than him. He's got a roll for like uh, ten players, hasn't he? And I've only got a roll for. Um, eight. Out of range. Two, four. Could make four GFIs to hit somebody. <laughs> Is that even worth it? It's probably not, is it? Oh no, two GFIs and he can hit. I can greed. I hit the witch and greed it. I think. Oh, I don't even need to greed it. Bang on. Did not instantly kill. AV seven. No, four G five isn't worth. I think two was. I think two was. Chance of killing his witch elf, armor seven. Right, let's see what happens with the heat. Only one and two did better on heat. Positivity. Uh, three, six, so he's on nine versus ten. Players up with Skaven. Outrageous. Up by one, up by one, is uh, yeah, not up by eight. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, also could stop it for the first year by third, yeah, yeah, true. True that. So, this guy did not level, but he's a completion away. This guy did not level. These desperately need to get blocked. <laughs> yeah, literally the first time in the 
<laughs> Depending on which definition of literally you're using. <laughs> Yeah, having three, having already three out did indeed help. Yeah, exactly. That was the thing. That that was that was really lucky to get three out on the irrelevant turn. Um, so again, I think just stay out of range with the guard guy because it's hard to protect my guard from his mobile blockers. Um, have the block guys hit, hit those guys, and have the. Uh, Guy without anything's hit the most protected player. Have these out. There's something against the Blitz. But not much. Blitz are pretty bad. Yeah, it stops it from shitting from bed, yeah. Exactly, it's half block. <laughs> yeah, and God, not that great with Wild Animal. Yeah, you want to be punching with him, don't you, really? Um, right, let's see how far away the ball is. If I could be serious for a minute. Um, so the ball's pretty safe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI, GFI. So she really can't serve me even though you can stand here. So that's fair play. And it's kind of hard to even hit. Hit this as well. So get those two over there first. Safe moves first. Oh yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable, Fash would be proud. Yahoo! <laughs> <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> yep. <Okay>. <laughs> I'll argue with that. <laughs> you were doing uh, all right. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so I do go pick up an irrelevant block. An irrelevant block. Let's, let's do that. Punch him there, push him to there, and then go back here. Guess I'll re-roll this with four. Don't even need to. Outrageous. Outrageous. I guess I don't need to re-roll this now. Good job I didn't spend two minutes thinking about it, which this horrible turn timer would have forced me in, should have forced me into, but I just played fast and loose and didn't care. Um, at the moment he can get hit, so I might as well just put him back a little bit so he's invincible. Yeah. Good. I'm invincible! Do you remember that from uh, Gold Knife? Yeah. <laughs> yeah? Have you seen Golden Eye? Yeah. Did we watch it? Yeah. yeah. Together. Oh. I know I wanted to. <laughs> yeah, I did. I'm invincible. Oh, yeah, you thought it was stupid. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it is stupid. <laughs> but uh, Sean Bean's in it, so that's all right by me. In studio cheerleaders. Yeah, Wolf and Ajax. Yeah, Senai is, uh, Senai is a part time cheerleader. <laughs> what? He said, do you, you have in-studio cheerleaders because you were going, yeah. 1-0, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. fireball in your ball cage. Yeah, that's, it's tough against there. It's tough. Boris Grishenko. <laughs> <laughs> you sit on it, but you can't take it with you. And she's like going ass and butt and stuff. <laughs> Stupid is she? <laughs> um, Exactly, Kovalats. He rolled a one, he's got a dodge. I hate people who have. Now, I don't hate the actual humans. Just don't say anything. But, <laughs> <laughs> it's proper annoying when people have dodge set to set to manual for the whole game because they get your hopes up because they roll the one you're like, oh, he's got to use a team reroll. Oh no, he just has dodge on manual. It's just constant, it's a constant disappointment. <laughs> I think the guy's going to get wrecked and he doesn't. Three. So he's got quite a lot here. 
Um, of course, I can just blitz with a roger because why not? So. If I uh, blitz there, though, I can get hit by Mighty Blow on a POW, which sucks. If I get there, I can get surfed. I think I hit this one. Oh, it's a GFI, so I block my path. All gut runner is safe. Completely. I can even go forward one. And be completely safe. These gutters can uh, hang back <laughs> in a screen screening kind of a uh, motion. I can't dodge with a gutter with a with a roger, so I, it's hard. It's actually I shouldn't have blocked my path here, and then I could have uh, then I could have gone for this. I guess I still go for it if I if I GFI GFI. I don't want to blitz with him. I just try and move him. Hey, I just go for a lucky call hit here. I guess I could have moved him in here, couldn't I? That would have been better than hitting a blodger. Don't like hitting a blodger. Hmm. I guess I got to reroll it actually because I don't want to get punched by him. Possible possibility you get surfed there, I, I believe. Let's see if I could have got surfed. He would have blitzed in here and then blocked there. Well, no, where was it? Here? So he could have blitzed in there and then blocked twice to there and then blocked it. I guess I couldn't have unsurfed. Maybe I shouldn't re roll that then. Mm. And now he's going to two dice the roller anyway. So. Can waste the time that one, it. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Yeah, obviously I'd rather hit pit this guy, actually. In fact I could have hit that guy with a with a storm vermin and then I would have knocked him down. And I exposed the rover anyway. Idiotic. Fully idiotic. Exposed the rover anyway. Gets hit by mighty blow. Armor eight. Deserves to die if you fash. <laughs> 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 if you fight find at this point, Rattogan deserves to be dead. But I mean, I've still got three reels. As long as he doesn't put heat on, it's kind of an easy score, isn't it? Because Skaven. So, really all... Him lining up like this and me lining up this is fine, fine by me. Because... Uh, He's the one who's got to force the action, and when he does force the action, and I go nine, hand off, go nine, and it's hard for him to do stuff about it anyway, isn't it? Oh. I could just go and let him score. But um, that's not my that's not my style, is it? Could hit. So the the unprotected guy is not exposed. This guy is exposed. Um, so you can move there afterwards. I guess I accept the bolt down now after using a reroll. Don't even have to. Ow. KO. Maybe, maybe Claw did something. It did. Glorious Claw. And uh, what about this guy? Still not even close to being in range. Nope. <laughs> Make him pay. <laughs> Hello, lol, Huzzler. It's uh, f four and zero at the moment. They are the, uh, the rats. Ah, he's finally made a little move there. <laughs> yeah, Cobblelet is crazy, isn't it? <laughs> 
<laughs> it's absolutely crazy. Maybe now we hooked up space, space, spaces. Exactly, exactly, BB Snort. They're, they're disgusting, aren't they, Skaven, really? Once developed. I mean, they're, they're very light now, to be fair. He, he doesn't have block. He doesn't have block. Um, obviously, eventually, they'd, they'd want block and sidestep. Don't have proper sacking skills, just have naked wrestle. Only has claw instead of mighty bomb piling on. So they've, they've got a long way to go, yeah. Wow, well, not fucking with me. No, fair enough. Yeah, it does seem like that. It does seem like that. Yeah, TLC. It seems like the that is the claw. Yeah, I don't think they, maybe they change the hands, but no, it does seem it's the long green claw. Yeah, the long green tooth is the difference. That's what claw is on a storm brain. What does the champ playoffs given team even look like? Probably TLC. Well, a dance is nineteen hundred or something, but. You know, obviously, Moles was amazing, wasn't it? Because he had the full claw bomb and, like, a 14-man roster um, with great gutters. But more more likely <laughs> is that it just looks like whatever you've got left at the end of the season <laughs> is, uh, is usually what it looks like. All right, so I would like, to, would like to hit him, wouldn't I, and get him out of range. So I can chill for another turn. Things a little bit tricky. Uh -huh. So I can uh, just follow, I think, and then that can, keeps him locked down a little bit, doesn't it? it means he can't reach here. So I can go here. <laughs> Looking Skaven. He's doing Skaven things here. Um, so completely out of range, can't get based. Now, this is a little bit of a problem now, isn't it? Getting these. Got to run as safe. I think he goes there, and then the other got to. Is then blitzable on three dice with mighty blow, but but does have wrestle to protect him. Getting punched doesn't seem as good as dodging, does it? The screen there. I think he is probably the best. Shite. Hmm. He might crash in here. He might crash in through this way. Let's see a flood in. Split the team. Not that it matters that much against Gaven. Or he could three dice him and try to do some dodges a bit in a pincer manoeuvre. Or he might just try to dodge through to put heat on the ball. He's got lots of ways to do his turn, but ultimately, as soon as he puts any, as soon as he makes any move, the Skaven can just react with a faster team, can't they? So. Next skill on the wrestle, good runner. Probably strip, I guess, because it's below TV. Still, ish. Yeah, a dance, a dance got a crazy high TV team. I mean, Mull had like 2k or something, didn't he, when one season when Mull, but then he got his Pommer killed, tackle Pommer killed, which screwed him against the, uh, against Inari, and even though he was diced against Inari. You know, He could chain push and base the ball, um, and you know it would be a three plus two plus, which would, which would be scary, but um, it wouldn't be so scary. Yeah, so now he's going for the herb dirt base base base. which he was always going to do eventually, wasn't he? Yeah, TLC. There's there's no reason not to qualify this game, is there? Or a beast of a team. 
Um, so he's let me hand off to this guy. And then run this way, hasn't he? So that's what I'll try and do. First action, Roger. Looks pretty good. <laughs> uh, let's go there and punch this guy. Seems like I could just cage up here actually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It probably gets me safe. I'm thinking that gets me safe. One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI, GFI. One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI. I'd have to do a GFI to get safe. She can surf, so don't want to put him to the sideline there. I can dodge and get a guy here to make it harder to go that way. Put a guy in front, guard guy in front. Let's see what happens. So now I can go for the one, the one GFI to run away. One turn claw. And you can, you can, I can always run back next turn, can't I? That's the, that's the stupidity of it. Um, I could go in here and then get a block off. Quite like that. Actually. Oh, double one. <laughs> oh no, that. that can, no, I, he can't hit, can he? I didn't count his squares, but he's behind the uh, he's behind the blitz. Uh, he's behind the line. So it's all right. There was the one. Ju only just missed the double one, though. <laughs> only just, only just missed the double one. Yeah, casual nineteen squares movement. It's stupid, isn't it? It's just, <laughs> so dumb. The hit out range of all your players. Oh, now the hit out range of all your players. Like it's so crazy, isn't it? Escape. That could have been my block. Sad times. Hey, He's got the man advantage now, hasn't he? He's made a few KOs. Eight players left. He's on eight as well. So actually, we're still just level. Yeah, I mean, Dark Elves don't suck, are they? Dark, dark Elves don't, are they? Instead of do they? Dark, oh god. Got a ropey toe here. <laughs> Let's see what Senai, the medical expert, thinks of my toe. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought as well. <laughs> but I'm not an expert. I, I thought, ugh. I just hitting the hitting the unprotected gutter. Fair enough. Might be able to maneuver. It's just hard with more having dodge, isn't it? Yeah, heat roll is worse. Yeah, I guess. Hey. He's got to use a real one, hasn't he? Can go the other side. Because the witch elf blocked, so she's not a threat. Dodge away from tail, dirty dingo. Dirty dingo. Might be able to cage up over here now, actually. Alright, so let's go for this block first. Great. <laughs> okay. 
and go here and then go one one two three four five six no one two three four five six him there him there, him there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right. <laughs> See you later, mate. Alright, don't don't want to double one here. Should have probably stood him up first as a safe move and him. Why not just score? Because then he's scoring three turns and win. Um, I draw. Um, yeah, basically. Basically, I mean, if I was going to score early, I would have wanted to score in like two or three turns so that I'd score, then he'd score, then I could score back. Um, so I, I, there was certainly an argument for me scoring in like two or three. He's probably just going to cage dive here. It's not even bad odds. Um, but then, you know, I've got the recovery. I've got a better recovery than him probably anyway, hopefully. It was, it wasn't, it's not so good having a cage like this. Really, I wanted the uh, guard in the cage, didn't I? But I couldn't risk, I couldn't risk putting the guard here. Oh, I guess I could put the ball here and the guard there. Um, I think maybe he should have caged out. But luckily he didn't. Yes, maybe it is playing a nice over. Yeah, clock control. Quite important. I think I could have scored early, but I just didn't. <laughs> so if I had scored early then he already said he doesn't stall. So he would have scored in, you know, if I had scored in two or three, he would have scored in two or three, then I would have scored in two or three and won. But, um, you know, I, I like to try and stall the clock. Yeah, he has done that, John Toy. Why jugs? Because I want to blitz with him. And then that makes his blitzes safer. That is it. That is literally the reason. Literally. Not figuratively, <laughs> literally. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. I mean, wait, he can probably hit me here. Yeah, the rogue. You know, he's got, he's got. I've got a safe blitz now. I've got a safe mighty blow blitz every turn, haven't I? I can get two gutters out to protect him and a rogue out to protect him. chance of a dodge out as well. I want to base her, I think. Mm, I don't know. Do I blitz with a roger first? <laughs> first action roger blitz. <laughs> uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If I stand on the end zone line, she can't hit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI, GFI, he could hit, so I could knock him down. He could only base. So two GFIs puts me safe. And I could I could potentially knock him down, but then also potentially not knock him down as well. Hmm. Don't know. Blitz first. Blitz with wild animal first. <laughs> So uh, that's got to be a good idea, hasn't it? Start with the uh, start with a loner blitz. One, two, three, four, five, six. Mm. He's got a tail. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I could have like a cage here, kind of. Cage here, is that okay? Doesn't doesn't feel okay. 
<laughs> it doesn't feel okay to have like two guards here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It doesn't feel very okay to be stood here. Scary two plus dodges here. <gasps> That's the wrong square, isn't it? Oh my god, it's the wrong square. I wanted him here. Alright. Um. Right. <laughs> Go for the dodge first. All right. He's going through there is not an option for him. Going in here isn't so much of an option. So I think the danger is coming from the other side. So maybe I could have just actually tried to shut it down there. But. Now he can't get an assist, so it's only one dice. Whatever happens, then he's got to push me into a worse spot for him. Um, and I might be able to... This might work. <laughs> That's why he, he wanted to go for the left side, didn't he? Um, so four plus in on the left side? Which left side? The left side isn't... Oh yeah, if he hits from here, yeah, if he hits from here, but now... I don't know, it wasn't easy. He had to do a, like a 4 plus 3 plus, and then something. Yeah, it's not like he can recover, yeah, exactly. And they've got guards, so he can't hit from here. He can hit from here on a 1 dice. On 2 dice, potentially, I guess, still. Hmm, I don't know. Yeah, I think this was the right... I think this was definitely the best spot to put the first one in. I think the second one's arguable. Four plus dodging, it was going to be one dice, wasn't it? That was the thing. With it being guard here. So I, I like putting the guards like tight. Oh, I shouldn't have said where he could actually get the hit from, should I? Because he could be in stream. He might not have seen it himself. I don't see things myself sometimes other people's spots. So I shall have to try and not do that on the opponent's turn. On the opponent's turn, I'll just look at, look at chat <laughs> and not posit what they might possibly do. Oh, he's strength four. Well, not anymore, can he? Strength four's got a three plus four plus for a, for a two die now, yeah, without dodge. Just wants to hit the roger. He's like, "Fuck this roger." <laughs> He's got to reroll it this time. Oh man, dirty dingo. No, oh, yeah, the strength four. I didn't even think of the strength four. I was just thinking it would be a one dice because of the because uh, of the guard. But you're quite right. He does have a strength four. See, it'd have been a 3 plus 4 plus after making those GFIs. Maybe, maybe I actually shouldn't have put him here. Maybe I should have put him here. Because the Rogue was locking down this side, wasn't it? Face the ball. <laughs> ball is based. Repeat, ball is based. <laughs> I mean, it's fair enough. Look, what else can he do you know, at this stage? Well, he could have he could have gone for the cage dive. I think he should have gone for some kind of cage dive. He could have um, he could have got this guy to here um, or here or something somewhere. Could he have done it with a witch elf there? Yeah, he could have put he could have put this guy here with a GFI, and then the witch elf could have dodged here on a four plus with dodge to two dice the ball. I think that would have been a decent play. Also. He could have gone for the 3 plus 4 plus for the strength 4. I think both of those options are kind of better than what he did. 
um, are more reliable than what he did. If you know. So, not more reliable, better odds to win. Yeah, they're just better. To just better odds to win, I think, than what he did. Because I think basing me to try and force a one in thirty six or a one in eighty one is not as good as hitting the ball. Like, sure, he didn't have a great recovery, but um, I think you know, I just think against agility four teams. You can't bank on them failing a two plus dodge. You have to uh, try to take matters into your own hands and uh, you know, do some kind of cage diving action on that turn. So it is. I mean, I'm just gonna have to walk two dice block one in eighty one here. Uh, do I? Oh, that's a GFI. Um, he's free. I could go there and blitz, but what would be ideal <laughs> would be if this guy wasn't here and this guy was one square further, so I could go there, two dice her, and then bring in this guy and two dice blitz him, but I've just got to do a two dice and then a dodge happen, and that's all I can do, because he's strength four power. It's got dodge, so I'll go for the star play points on the claw guy. Because why not? One in twelve nine six chance of <laughs> one in twelve nine six chance there of uh, of <laughs> blowing the match. <laughs> Any reason I double the base of the witch previous turn? Yeah, because I thought I thought I wanted to shut down other things, other things from happening. But yeah, double base in the witch means he could have just dodged through, couldn't he? And I, I like having the other guy there. That was scary, wasn't it? Three out of four skulls. <laughs> Would have stayed the dodge, but I mean, on 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 another day though, Wolf Bark, I could have rolled a double, I could have rolled a double pow. And then, which would have made the dodge pass, and then the dodge could have been a double one. So, you know, you can't really say that. Um, it was I was adding an extra one in twelve nine six risk of failure for no reason, other than star player point greed. But then, I thought it was worth it. Maybe it wasn't. It, to, be, to be honest, it probably wasn't worth it. Probably wasn't worth it. But I wanted to do it because I thought it wouldn't good. fail. But he is right. Greed it would fail eventually, wouldn't it? <laughs> Greed block saves the day. There was a lot of double skulls. He rolled like four or five. Um, and I rolled like two or three. Maybe his album rolled two. I think. He seemed to roll like four, four double skulls. I think. I think he rolled four double skulls and I rolled two. Don't know, but there was a lot, you know. Something, something, that's not how it has but Yeah, I really want to level the claw, man, yeah. I really do want to level the claw, man. So... Yeah, I hate stalling, yeah. So, I mean, I could have exploited that and, and you know, tried to score in two. And then he could have two or three, then he scores in two or three, then I score in two or three and win, win three, two. But I'd rather just take... That, again, makes more dice rolls with the ball and puts more luck involved, and I would rather just, you know, trust in my ability to stall it out and uh, win 2-1. Um, oh, man, MVP on Claw Storm, I mean, that would be great, wouldn't it? That would really be great. Great. I don't know, Gary. On, it's a nice thing to say. Isn't it? We're all three doves, all right. Thanks, Cobblebats. Paying attention. Yeah, I do remember taking one the chin actually. Yeah, but I mean that was effectively a one in nine. Although I did actually technically roll double skulls, and it wasn't alignment, so I didn't wasn't so bad about it. Yeah, yeah, maybe jam toast, but don't want to be mean to anybody. <laughs> but yeah, I think maybe he didn't. He didn't utilise optimal strategies to win, did he? With the uh, yeah, going for the going for the hits on the roger. I mean that that's why I like the roger though. You know, it gives it gives Skaven another like kind of an auto win condition, isn't it? Because if if you just get lucky with the roger, and fair enough, I I got a KO with him, I think. On another day, the, that roger could have made two or three cars and just made the match easy, couldn't he? Or he he could have got sent off when he fouled him. 
and he could have got a Kaz that way. So I do like him low TV. All right. Oh well, it was a good kick. Super kick. <laughs> oh, the riots annoying. <laughs> oh, that's really annoying. And he's even got a reroll, and I don't have a reroll. Oh wow. <sighs> maybe I could have gone for the. Maybe I should have gone for the score off here. Oh man, fucking I hate Ryan. I really hate Ryan. Oh man. Fuck off. <laughs> it's good we can probably blitz the at least one marker away, can't he? And then get the ball up and then have two threats and I can't deal with both of them. And it's uh, it's disappointing. A very disappointing kickoff result there. Hugely disappointing. Um, eight man cage on the witch elf, yeah. Yeah, so he clears both tackle zones. And he's got two receivers. So. Tricky, isn't it? Three receivers now. Oh. Oh, ballsy. I can just get the ball myself. <laughs> Fucking Skaven. <laughs> I could just I could just get the ball myself. Um I don't know who's already in scoring range, doesn't he? I know, because if he if he doesn't re-roll it, he's not in scoring range. I don't agree with the second re-roll The second GF5. I don't agree with the second GF5, but the first one's fine. Um Yeah, I think I'd go for this blitz. Because if I power the witch elf, she can jump up anyway. Whereas if I power him, it's a it's a guy taken out of the equation, isn't it? Um, he can go there. He can go there. I could fully just block him, power him, block him, and I could just go for the ball myself. That's that's a completely. Oh, I can't block him because of the, this guy. Going for the ball, though, is a completely viable strat with Skaven. Which is stupid, isn't it? Right, let's go for this block first. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, that's annoying, isn't it? That's annoying! <laughs> Um Tackles on on the ball though. Which means it's something for him to think about, isn't it? Do I go here? So he's got to blitz this one away from the witch elf, make it a little bit harder for him, I guess. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Pick up the ball. Is the picking up the ball even good here? I guess it is because he might not power me. Like failing the GFI and scattering it to him, his hands is really awful. But, um. No, I can't pick it up. I can't pick it up, TLC, no. Cannot pick it up. But yeah, was in range to pick it up. 
can't base it anyway. So <laughs> it's the crucial moves which which will at least base it or make the blitz both failed. Disappointing, because if this blitz would have left him stranded on the sideline based by a based by tail, and then I could have had the two gutters behind these guys. Which would have obviously been great. For interception chances and uh and just making it harder to do things. But now it's easy to clear the ball. It, it would have been easy to clear the ball anyway. If, if I based it, you could just block it. So, I think basing the ball wasn't really going to achieve a whole lot. But I think picking up would have been good because he might have not knocked it out. And it would be another player that would have had to have done something. You might fail without a reroll anyway. Stranger things have happened. Maybe I shouldn't have blitzed with the Roger, but I'll, I really like pinning him against the sideline with with, uh, with whatever that fucking skill is. Prehensile tail. Yeah, that was a good move there, actually. Maybe his, maybe his basing would have been good enough. Maybe I could have just gone in here to protect him. Because, yeah, he really wanted to push, be able to push him there on the push, didn't he? Yeah, I think, I think, I think the Roger blitz was fine. He's only 60% to score. Is he that high, Kate there? I think he I think he should be less than 60%. I think it should be less than 60%, to be honest. Let's see. I mean it's at least three two pluses, isn't it? Two two pluses minimum, and then so it's a pass as well. So it was three two pluses, so that was fifty percent already. It was way less than sixty percent. I'm pretty sure he's way less than three two pluses. Way less than sixty percent. Should have blitzed here, dodged him away and blitzed, and then the catch would have been on two plus. That's what I would have done. So he gets the one dash pow, fucking hell. <laughs> what can you do? So he 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 wasn't in range to hand off clearly. So there you go, so he got he got it that was way, way, way less than sixty percent. But he got lucky, so my stalling play was No yeah, dodge blitz with a witch, yeah, he could have done, yeah, you mad, yeah, true. That would have been better than the other way, wouldn't it? Yeah, I guess he just put so he 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 played it about as he played the last turns about as bad as he could have done, but our old ones he didn't. Two two. I should I shouldn't have stalled. Punish for good play, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely punished for the right play, yeah. But um Yep, riot. Punished by the riot. I, it was pretty unlucky, wasn't it? I think I think that was unlucky. But and lineman brown hair gets the MVP. Two AV breaks in the entire game. Of, of thirty four blocks to the whole, you know. And I was blitzing with mighty blow as well. Uh, that was that was a bit unlucky. He did roll a lot of double skulls. But um, yeah. 75% dodges. I didn't do some dodging two dice though. Not many. Not many. I did roll actually decent powers because he had a lot of dodge. So rolling these didn't matter so much that there wasn't so many of those. But overall bad block dice. He got he got horrible block dice if you rolled a million double skulls. How many double skulls did he roll? One, two, three. He rolled three double skulls. I think I rolled three double scores as well, didn't I? One, two, three. Huh. I, it felt like he rolled more double scores than me, but we, we, we both rolled three double scores. So, <laughs> yeah, zero games of Blood Bowl. Yeah, to be fair, the draw is going to be costly probably in the in the grand scheme of things. Nah, Skaven ended up losing a higher TV anyway. Oh my god. <laughs> What is this? <laughs> it's just infinite doubles. <laughs> infinite doubles on this team. Um, horns is an option. Two heads is an option as well. 
not really sure. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.